What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Programmies and welcome back to this series on Python. In the last two videos, we learned how to repeat a block of code using loops. The while loop repeats a block of code until the specified test condition is false. And the for loop repeats a block of code until the last item in a sequence is reached. Sometimes we may need to end the loop without checking the test condition or skip execution of code inside the loop. In such cases, break and continue statements are used. Let's start with the break statement first. I'll create a loop to print numbers from 1 to 5 to get started. So I'll say for item in range 1 to 6 and I'll print item and as you can see when I press run then 1 to 5 is printed. Now let me add a break statement here. This time when I press run then only 1 is printed. Let's try to figure out what's happening here. In the first iteration, the item value is 1. 1 is printed and then the break statement is encountered. As soon as we encounter the break statement, we exit the loop. Now let me try something interesting. I'll move this break statement before the print statement and this time when I press run, absolutely nothing gets printed because the loop never reaches this print item statement. The break statements are almost always used inside decision making statements like if and else because most of the time we may want to end the loop only when a certain condition is met. Let me show you this with a practical example. I'll remove this code and I'll say if item equals equals 3 then break otherwise print item and I also want to see uh, find out when the loop is exited so I'll print outside the loop the end. Here we have a condition to break this loop when item is equal to 3. Now when the item becomes 3 the if condition is true and the break statement terminates the loop. That's why 3, 4 and 5 will not be printed this time. Let me run this code to show you this. So when I run this code then 1 and 2 are printed and the end is printed. Let's create one more example of the break statement. We will use a while loop to take a number input from the user. If the user enters a positive number or zero, we will print the number and again take another numeric input. However, if the user enters a negative number, we will use the break statement and end the loop. To approach this program first, we will create a while loop with a test condition that's always true. Inside the loop, we will take input from the user. So I'll remove this old code and I'll say while true and I'll say number equals float input enter a number. Now this is an infinite while loop. The only way to end this loop is by using the break statement. Now let's write our condition to print the number if it is positive and break the loop if it's negative. So here I'll say if number less than zero then break otherwise print u entered and here I'll print the number. When I run this program then it says enter a number. Let me enter a positive number like 4 and it says u entered 4.0 and let me enter another positive number 67. It says u entered 67. Now let me try entering a number that's negative. So I'll say minus 9 and when I press enter then it exited me from the loop and the program as well. Before moving to the next section of the video, I'd like to mention that the Programmist team has created an app that allows you to learn Python from your phone. The app contains bit-sized lessons that are easy to understand, a built-in interpreter so that you can run Python on your phone, quizzes and many more features. The app is available on both iOS and Android. The links are in the video description below. Let's talk about the continue statement in Python now. The continue statement in Python skips the rest of the code inside the loop for that iteration. The loop will not terminate but continues on with the next iteration. Let me explain this with the help of an example. So I'll remove this old code and I'll say for i in range 5 and then I'll say number equals float input enter a number. Then I'll print the number. This program asks me for 5 numbers, so I'll say 1, 2, 54, 34, 
minus 76 and something like 67 then it exited after five iterations what if you only want to print the positive numbers entered by the user and skip the printing of the negative numbers in such cases we can use the continue statement to skip code inside the loop if the user enters a negative number so here I'll add the continue statement like this I'll add the condition to check if the number is negative and continue the program without printing here so I'll say if number less than 0 continue this time when I run the program then it asks me for an input I'll say 34 it asks me for another input I'll say 56.5 or 7 and it prints the number and now if I enter a number like negative number like minus 87 then it does not print the number it asks me for another number immediately this is because when this condition is true the continue statement takes me to the next iteration of the loop let me continue adding positive numbers so I'll say 23 and then I'll add another negative number like minus 54 and as you can see this whole loop still executed for five times but depending on whether I input a negative number or a positive number I was able to use the continue statement to either print the number or go directly to the next iteration before we end this video here's a little programming task for you suppose we have a list like this can you create a program so that all items of the languages list are printed except Swift and C++ you can find the answer to this question in our github repository also visit our website programis.com for more tutorials and examples I posted the link to both the github repository and our website in the description below let's recap the concepts we learned in this video the break statement terminates the loop immediately when it is encountered the continue statement skips the code after it when it is encountered most of the time we want to change the way loops work only when a certain condition is met that's why we usually use break and continue inside the decision making statements like if and else that's it for this video i hope you learned something if you're just watching the video without writing any code i highly encourage you to try the programs in this video on your own the only way you can be a good programmer is by trying by the way you can find all the programs from this video on github i provided the link in the description below feel free to copy the program and edit them as you please and if you have any questions and feedback use the comment section below in the next video we will learn about the past statement join me in this video series and let's explore the exciting world of programming together if you like this video hit the like button now and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell icon so that you don't miss the next video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one thank you for your time